we talked about Eric Bieniemy a little bit. Um, I think for Eric Bieniemy personally, I, I think that this if if his true goal is to get a head coaching job, then this this move makes sense. Yeah. But I, I think that it with taking everything in, into to per, putting everything in, in perspective, I think it's not a great move by him. Like I like I think that. Washington offensively is one of the most talent deficient rosters in the league. Like quarterback wise is, is Sam Howell. Is he their guy? Is Taylor Heineke their guy? If you, if, if the answer is yes to that, you're probably not in a great situation. Then you look Brian Robinson at running back kind of an asterisk on his first season. Obviously he was dealing with, with the gunshot wounds and healing from that. Uh, Terry McLaurin obviously is a fantastic wide receiver. Um, but I, Outside of, they're not super talented on that offensive side of the ball. Again, obviously, if Eric Bieniemy is able to to you know make magic with this, then I think that he'll he'll be probably getting a head coaching job this next hiring cycle. But I I think that if if it's bad, I, I think especially with how we've seen, um, for the most part, like black head coaches or minority head coaches kind of get they don't get the benefit of the doubt. Like if it goes horribly for him. They're not going to be well. The you know the talent was bad. They're going to well. Eric Bieniemy just can't coach. Like he just can't coach. It's just not for him. And and I don't think that that's fair. But I think that's how a lot of people are going to look at it if it winds up going sideways. I don't want to say that I think it's going to because I I do believe in Eric Bieniemy. But I think like on offense they just don't have a lot. Like Jahan Dotson they drafted in the first round last year, but I didn't see a whole lot of splash from him. Granted, I wasn't watching a whole lot of Commander games, but I didn't see a whole lot of spe- <laughs> splash from him. I think that he. It seems like he really wants to be a, a head coach in this league. Um, and again, like let's say it doesn't work out this way. I'm work out this year. I'm sure Andy Reid is going to welcome him, welcome him back with open arms. Um, but it, he, he's putting it all on the line. And I and I feel like you know maybe there was a better place he could have gone. Maybe not. But betting on the Commanders kind of seems like a, a very odd strategy. See, I, and that's very valid because. But like I talked about earlier, that Washington offense has been putrid, you know, and I'm a little higher on their talent offensively than I can see you are because I actually really like Jahan Dotson. I have him in a couple of, of dynasty leagues, and usually when I bring up, you know, guys that I have in fantasy, it also means that I'm watching their games. And so I'm watching more Jahan Dotson. He did miss, what was it, seven to eight games about the middle of the season. So he played like the first three, and then he came back to play like the last four or five. But he had seven touchdowns. In less than 10 games played. And so he's a he's a speed demon. He's a threat in the red zone. Uh, he, they took him in the first round for a reason. And I thought he displayed a lot of potential last year. And I think he could be a bonafide number two alongside of Terry McLaurin. Eric Bieniemy's probably seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. I mean, so I think with the Bieniemy, look, what else was he going to do in Kansas City, you know, t- to garner a head coaching job? Like, what else, what more was there for him to do? He's already appeared in five straight AFC Championship games, two Super Bowls. His offense has finished no worse than six in the last five to six years. And so it's like, what else is there for me to do to get a head coaching job? And so I think the way that he's looking at it, it was like, yo, let me help revive an offense that's finished near the bottom of the league for the last three years. They have some playmakers for me to work with. There's some pot- potential. They might take a quarterback. You know, if they're not happy with the same Howell, Taylor Heineke is a free agent. Carson Wentz, they're already trending towards a breakup as per reports. And so I think with the Eric B. if he was going to bet on himself, the bet on yourself in a bad situation because if you really truly believe in yourself, then you're going to excel no matter the situation. Even if they don't finish as a, you know, let's say top of the league or top of the top half of the league as far as offensive rankings, if they show more competency, if they can show, you know, uh, just more flashes, if they can show, you know, a few games and where they score just a plethora of points and where they're keeping up with an opponent that they shouldn't be keeping up with, I think Eric, Eric Bieniemy is going to garner plenty more head coaching consideration going into the next offseason. But, again, I'm just so puzzled because why didn't Arizona offer the job? I mean, you've seen what he can do, right? Even if there's a belief that, oh, he's kind of been carried by Pat Mahomes and Andy Reno and whatnot, there is still a history there, and there is still some talent to work with, especially at quarterback. And so I think, uh, again, if I'm Eric Bieniemy, if I was going to bet on myself, then this is the perfect situation because this is a team that's flying under the radar. This is a team that nobody cares about. This is a team that has performed you know, below expectations, at least offensively, the last couple of years. And so if he's going to – increase that stock of his which is already high which already should you know have resulted in a head coaching job he shouldn't have to fight for this like this but if he was going to i think washington is actually a great landing spot for him we we will agree to disagree on that one i i i yeah i i think it's just with with washington and you know maybe a lot of it is because of quarterback play like i like i think that's going to be a huge like Again, if Sam, if they decide they're going to rock out with Sam Howell and Sam Howell just isn't good, right? Like you couldn't, you couldn't drop, you know, who, uh, 
Zach, you couldn't drop Zach Wilson into Kansas City's offense and it's not going to look the same. Like, because the quarterback play, like at some point, you just can't overcome quarterback play. And I think that's probably what's been happening with the commanders a lot over the past however many years. Um, and so I think with, with the enemy, he might be doomed with none of his own on this one.